awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy. I do subscription box unboxings, makeup try-ons, and occasionally I throw something else in to keep you on your toes. And today, I just want to get ready and chit-chat. So, if you'd like to do that, then stay tuned. I'm going to do a neutral look because I am dying to use my new red um, Sigma Vemin lipstick. So, I decided that I want to use my Laura Geller New York Urban Garden Central Park Face, Eye, and Cheek Palette. I received this in my very first Ipsy Plus um, in June. So when you open her up, she does come with a little mirror. And these are the colors. These are the eyeshadows. These are the blushes. So I went ahead and swatched them all ready. So the um, top sh light color right here, that is Sheep Meadow. Then Turtle Pond, this beautiful shimmer shade is Cherry Hill. And this little shade right there is um, Belvedere Castle. Then this pink color here is Strawberry Fields, and that is the blush. And then this um, is Bethesda Terrence. Terrace? I think it may be Bethesda um, Terrence. I haven't played with any of their blushes. I have used this palette a couple of times, um, and it was okay. It's... <sighs> It's a primer palette, if I remember correctly, but at the time, I was just learning about primers and stuff because I was like, why are people putting primers on their eyes? Um, eye primer anyways. So I did like it, but the color didn't pay off. So today, I am going to use some primer. I'm going through and I'm using the palettes that I feel I need primer with. And deciding if I want to keep them or pass them along for this way I'll know what I want and what I won't want so the first shade that I'm going to use is the Belvedere Castle and it is that color there and I'm using my BH number no. six um, festival brush and I am going to and just kind of use that for a somewhat of a base. Now, a lot of people, I notice, they base their whole eye. I don't because if I blend or whatever, it's just going to be in there. So I feel like that's a waste of product. Um, and then, especially if the base is lighter and I add a darker color to it, then I feel like um, not only is it a waste of product, but then I got to use even more product to get it the color that I want. Like you know, in this area here, so um, that's why I do that. And my next shade is going to be the Turtle Pond. <laughs> I forgot that I left the colors on so I didn't have to pick up my palette all the time. But um, when you guys do your makeup, if you want to base your whole lid, then feel free because these are just my opinions on how I feel about my eyes and my products. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap that in there and I do kind of want to see if I can make it like a smoky eye a little bit I want to bring that down here too when I do a smoky eye I always like it darker on the end than in the front does anybody else like that I see all different kinds of looks and none of them are wrong it's just how you like it but then I'm going to use my um, Luxie 237 blending brush to blend this out a little bit and then add more product most likely because I do want that darker so I'll be switching back and forth between the brushes until I get the shade that I want. 
Don't forget to brush one side of your lid to make it match, or at least that's how I do it. And then do the blendy. There is fallout. And I really hope that this lasts longer um, with the eye primer. This is a cute little palette, but if it don't work out, then I know my friend will enjoy it. She's more of a neutrals palette anyways. She's a little bit older than me, and there are some women that are a little older than me and enjoy colors. And then there's a lot that don't. I almost feel like they think that their age holds them back, or maybe... Um, they were just raised differently, and there's nothing wrong with that either. But I do feel like I need a little bit better of a blending brush, so I'm going to grab this one. I have no idea what it is. And... Oh yeah, there we go. And that's what I like to see. So, I think I'm coming up with a schedule. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm trying to get it to where I um, upload Monday through Friday, and I'm going to just upload at 8 a.m., and then people can watch it as they see fit. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that now. And then after I am finished with the turtle pond, and then I'm going to go in with that sheep metal. And I'm going to put that right here in the front of my eye to lighten it up. And I am going into the... Um, turtle pond but that's okay because you'll see I just want to make sure that this color is light and it is and then I'm going to take this brush again and go back into turtle pond and then I'm going to go like this and then blend it in to make it look like they are connected And if you have to, you can go back in with, um, clean your brush off. You can go back in with sheet metal using the same brush and just kind of right in the middle, just mix it up a little bit like so. And then we're going to go in to the turtle pond one more time and just flick it that way. I'm not going to go all the way to the middle because that to me looks like it's blended together. We're going to make sure that the side's darker because this lightens it up just a little bit and then it's going to make it darker. Okay, so then you're going to go back in with the um, Belvedere Castle and that was this color here that you could barely see and you are just going to like this. I wanted this to be a chit chat and it's like turning into a tutorial. I'm sorry guys. I just I like to explain what I'm doing when I'm doing it so that way if there's somebody out there that don't know how to do it then maybe I can help them and let, get them to understand a little easier because when I got back into makeup I didn't understand much of anything because I went like 20 years without makeup. I'm then going to take the same brush, dip back into Turtle Pond, and then just go over this again. Um, but anyhow, I had to watch videos and um, a lot of videos I found in the beginning, like not many people tell you step by step. And I would have liked that, honestly. I would have liked more step by step videos. Um, so I kind of, that's why I like doing. And then I'm going to take the Sheep Shadow again, 
and then just do this and clean my brush and kind of blend that into that. And I think that's going to be good for the eye. Since I've never played with the blushes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Strawberry Fields, which was the pinker one. I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush brush. Well, it's a highlighting brush, but it has been um, switched to my blush brush. Okay, so I'm going to just tap it on because I don't know how dark it's going to be. I haven't used it. Isn't that weird? It's like, hmm. I wonder why it's doing that. Don't know. Let's see if it does it on the other side. So what do you think? <laughs> Is it my color? Is it not my color? No, it's not as bad as... Oh, it's way darker, though. <laughs> Maybe it's just my, um... My damn cheek itself, who knows? Oh, well... It's really dark over here. Really, really dark. I don't... know if I'm going to be able to lighten it up. So, another fun fact. I am ambidextrous. I can use both my hands for just about everything. I'm actually thinking about doing a video where I just put my makeup on with my left hand to see how bad or good it is because I can't do everything as good with my left hand as my right hand, but I bowl better with my left hand than my right hand. All right, so I don't think that's going to um, lighten up any just grab this brush here. That is definitely, definitely too dark for me. But it's my fault because I put it on. See, like this side I feel isn't as dark as this side, but this side isn't going to lighten up. I'm just going to have to deal with it. I know. But I also, I wanted to take this, um, can't even pronounce it. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can show you guys. Focus, focus, there we go. That shade, and that's like glittery, so I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger. And I'm gonna try to, like, is this where you put highlight at? I've been, I've been trying to learn highlight, and I see people do this, go up like here, and then they like come down. Wait, is that right? Am I doing it right? Tell me. Whoever does highlight, tell me down there. Like, is this right? Because I feel like um, this shade here, it may be a blush, but it's so shiny, I feel like it should be a highlight. I cannot deal with my cheeks being so bright. I have this e.l.f. Um, Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Um, I'm going to use this brush. And I'm going to just lighten this stuff up. Just a little bit, maybe. I feel like it should help me out a little bit. Oh, see? There we go. So what do you guys think of that shiny that I put like in a L? I've been using my Big Fat Liner by Rockins. We're going to do my eyeliner. Now, this thing is super weird. Because right now it seems to be going on easier. And what it has been. Oops, see how I did that. No worries though, no worries. But then when I get to my other eye, it's going to be dry. So I don't get it. I'm using my Wander Beauty Mascara, my High Club, which um, I'm not sure if I'm running out or not. So I decided to like squeeze this just to see. And look, there's like all that, and it, can you see it coming out? There you go. And I'm down to here, so 
I think I just have to play with it to get it to work the right way because I do have a lot of product in there. I just think that, um, you know, since it uh, just wasn't touching it somehow. So it's going to last me a little bit longer than I thought, which is awesome because I really like this. This is one of my favorite. I feel like I have a hair. I did. One of my hairs. I feel like this is the best mascara to keep my lashes separated that I've ever used. Especially my bottom ones. They are just easy peasy. Most mascaras on the bottom just clump it up. Not this one. Not my Wander Beauty. I also got these Wet n Wild, um, like, normal lashes. They're not so dramatic, I guess. Um, they're called Shutter Shock, but they're not as dramatic as most of the lashes that I have. So I'm gonna throw these on really quick. So I just went ahead and finished. It took me so long to get these lashes on. And I don't even know if they went on right. I don't know. But they are the least dramatic lashes that I have. I couldn't use Wet n Wild glue because it didn't say latex free and I'm allergic to latex. So I have my own, thank goodness. Um, but I do like them a lot better, I think, than the big dramatic ones because I'm just not that person at the moment. Maybe, maybe one day, you never know. But I do gotta say that I really, really love Sigma lipstick and the shade Venom. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is so red. And it's drying down like a mat. It is a little sticky, but it was um, stickier when I put it on. And I do feel like it's going to, um, dry completely down, but I'm not 100% sure. I did try it on the day that I got it in Allure and just took it right back off because um, I don't remember why, but it does stain your lips because the few minutes that I had it on when I was trying it on and I took it off, I ended up having to use my LMS um, Pro Collagen Cleaning Balm, which is awesome, to uh, get the stain off my lips so that was good so if anybody has that and they use it and i also hear there's a product called ponds that's cheaper that works just like um this elemis so when i run out of both of my sample sizes then um i think i'm gonna try that out because that stuff is super expensive but i think i've already taken up enough of your time go ahead and let me know down below what do you think of my look and if you like it or if you don't like it, I don't really care either way. I think it's gorgeous. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. Remain awesome. Peace.